Yo, what is going on YouTube? Uh, I usually don't make these. Uh, I've actually never made a reaction video, but uh, I've been hearing all the stuff about, you know, Bradley Martin saying he can beat up fi uh, professional fighters. I've seen Demetrius Johnson, who we're about to watch, talk about um, Bradley Martin's dumbass. <sighs> we're going to watch him. I think, I don't know if he's Nate Diaz or, I'm, I don't know. I'm going to look up more. I'm just going to click on some random stuff. Give my opinion about it, because long story short, I personally don't think muscles doesn't equal you knowing how to fight. Um, and it's just my opinion. I used to train like a good year ago. I got up to a blue belt. I'm not going to say where I trained. I'm just going to say I trained, and then I trained with a UFC fighter, a one FC fighter, uh, a couple of pros. And yeah, I mean, I got lazy. I, I got to do work. I started to do a whole bunch of other stuff. And yeah, uh, if you guys don't take my opinion seriously. I'm all good with that because, I don't know, <laughs> I'm just a dude, and then this is usually, yeah, this is it. <laughs> so, let's do this. Shout out to the schmo, also. This is the schmo. With the schmo. With the former UFC flyweight champion, the current one championship flyweight champion, the future Hall of Fame. We're back to it. <laughs> So, my bad. Three, two, one. Famer, the man with the most consecutive UFC title defenses in world history, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson here in Las Vegas, outside of American Top Team Las Vegas. How we doing? Doing good, doing good. It's hot, it's beautiful out, and uh, I can't complain. And, and the gi. Where's Bradley Martin? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Last time I heard, he's trying to fight Aljo and uh, Marab, so... Uh, I'll do a little screen grab right here to show you guys. Um, we might react to it next, but I will not really react. I already watched it, so you really can't. He was basically asking Aljo, and he's like, uh, I got leg kick you, I can kick you in the leg, and, or kick you, we want to get close. And I don't know. This whole thing with him trying to actually be a fighter is ridiculous, or even say he can fight. I mean, like, just tell me you're roided up. Tell me you your roids are just taking over your head because you think muscles equal you being able to fight. And, I mean, like, from what I've seen, we'll re uh, we will react to the him doing the BJJ stuff, too. And that alone should tell you a lot about just because how big he is. Doesn't mean a lot of anything, if I'm being honest. I keep looking everywhere about the camera. I don't know why. Sorry. Well, I have no idea what's going on <coughs> with that. I think Bradley Martin, that's one of his sticks in, in the podcast world, is, hey, do you think you'd be in a street fight? Yes, no, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, hell yeah, I agree with that. Freaking Mighty Mouse hit it right, the nail right on the hammer right on top of the head of the nail in that sense. Like, he's just been having fighters on there talking just to get his clout up, I guess, and just flaunt his ego. I don't know. It's just ridiculous. The fact is he's even talking to professional fighters who do it for a living while he lifts weights and posts content on YouTube. I'm not saying post content on YouTube makes you weak or anything like that or lifting weights make you weak, but being a professional fighter is so much different. I think he had to offer to fight Mac Perry for some good money. So I have that no idea. Weren't you supposed to, you know, cut the vacation short and go to <coughs> Calabasas and challenge him to that street fight? Not, not, I wasn't going to cut the vacation short. I was going to go there after my vacation. But my wife was like, babe, oh. really? Are we really going to entertain this? Like, you have Jiu-Jitsu Worlds coming up. Basically, his wife just said, fuck Bradley Martin. <laughs> Let's get that done. Then you have, uh, I have to cover for. So, I think so. Just like, are we really going to entertain this? Yeah. Long term. Long story short. Fuck Bradley. Or my professor, got to go open the gym, help Bibiano Fernandez open his gym in Canada. Then after that, we have free time to go out there and do it. So uh, I have prior obligations, more important obligations. Actual fighting, actual training, competitions, not lifting weights. To attend to instead of just drop down a plane and go grapple some gentleman who doesn't even know if he wants to grapple. So, um, but yeah, that, that's uh, how it all went down. Yeah, we're going to the next one. I don't want to take a lot of the schmoes content, but long story short, you Mighty Mouse, yeah, he hit the nail in the coffin. I don't know that saying. <laughs> I mean, we'll watch this one, just, but Is I've already seen it. Is it true they say the shots that, that hurt you the most or, like, knock you out clean are the ones that you don't, don't see, see coming? It. Yes. Okay. Why is that a thing? Just because you're able to brace for it? Yeah. Because then there's a thing with the jawline where there's a nerve that actually shuts the lights off in your brain. So when you get hit, like, square on the button, it pushes back on that nerve and it clips. I only got hit with a spinning heel kick once. That made me get a black eye and stunned me really well. Closest I ever got to, I didn't see it coming, so fucking A. That is true. 
sorry. I gotta make sure I'm not just stealing people's content and actually tagging people in that. <laughs> not, but give them props to their freaking. More so, like, I, I think that was the one that actually cut me, or it was the hammer fist on the ground that cut me, whichever one. Randomly saying, what the. I was going for Aljo in that fight with him and O'Malley. Uh, I still don't like O'Malley. He needs to fight Marab. He needs to fight Corey Sandhagen. He needs to fight a rematch with Aljo. Even fight Henry C. Like, he can fight any of these people. And O'Malley calls out Chita Vera. The dude's not even, I think he's top five, maybe. I can't remember. I'll put it up right here. Top five, uh, I think, or he might be in the top ten. But he's going to fight him of all people, which is fucking dumb. I seen Chito talking about that too, about how Aljo and Rob are doing like the best friend thing. But the thing I'll say to that is like I'd rather have somebody, a good friend, help me become be a better fighter and not f- try to fight them in the cage for money when I train with them on a regular basis or anything like that. And it's kind of I don't know. I put it in a comment one day and I was like, "Fuck them!" Getting mad at them. I'm like, everybody in this room. And everybody who watches this video knows how I feel about this shit. Hate it. And uh, why did you even get into this sport if that's your mentality and the way that you think? I don't even want the title. I don't even want the championship. We're friends. We're this. We're that. You can be friends with everybody in this business. There's a lot of nice people in this business, a lot of good people. This is not about friendship. This is about finding out who the best in the world is. And if you don't want to find out who the best in the world is, this is not the place for you. You should be somewhere else. There's plenty of places to fight where they don't give a shit what you do. Some of us are all greedy money hungry, I guess. But either way, it hit me in a great spot where it was just clean as I'm coming in. It almost doubles the impact. Oh, I see. Yeah, see what I'm saying? So I'm coming forward, and as I come yeah, forward, I'm square. Him. He's stepping back, and as he steps back, I'm like, I see it in real time. And I go, I can't believe you just gave this motherfucker the one thing that he... And I was hoping he missed. Because I was like, if he missed... He's not missing. And I was just like... Bro, he's I was so just like, accurate. Please. All, my, all I said in my head was this. If he misses, thank the heavens, I get an opportunity but to stay in the fight. Why didn't you take him down the first two times? Why was he so hard to take down? Why was he so hard to take down? I don't know. It might be because he trained grappling defense. I know I heard something that he said he didn't train like grappling defense for months for this or past like two or three months or something like that. And I'm like... I mean, the dude has great stand-up and, like, legit as fuck stand-up. And so I'm guessing it's, like, the whole Connor, like, how they're comparing him. His his takedown defense is all right. I think O'Malley's is way better. I never really got to see it that much, but I don't know. I feel like he just basically just because he learned how to defend takedowns. It's, like, such a, f- ca- I'm a – Bradley Martin's the definition of a casual. That's all I'm going to say. I don't care if he's been to events. He's the definition of a casual and is getting clout off of fighters' names and stuff more and more. And Sarah, too. Shout out to Sarah. I mean, one of the million chances to see this, but that woman, fine. His footwork. That's your thing. His footwork. Yeah. And th- th- that's the one thing. There's so many guys out there. <laughs> it's a lot of, like, <clears throat> footwork. That, too. I'm such a noob. Just setting it up, not letting Aljo corner him. And basically moving out of the way at the right time and say it's political. No, no, it fuck it, dude. Don't do that. The, the, the Russian fan base that go like, why didn't he just take him down right away? And I'm just like, you guys never fought before. You it takes a lot to fight. No, I've never fought, but it t- I know damn well it takes hell of a fight. It's a lot. You guys never. And the people are like, oh, you never fought, so how do you know? Well, I don't know. It's like I have friends that are fighters, people that have are legit mixed martial arts pros. Hmm. Never fought before. If you think you could just walk forward and just take someone down, it don't work. Definition of Bradley Martin. Big, honking, chunk of beat, go forward. Work like that. Unless you're 260. I'm 260. I'm fat, and I don't fucking just walk them people down. I'm not muscly as hell like he is, but still, it's like, oh, this dude's dumb. And the guy weighs <laughs> 130. I mean, My reaction, him. exactly. It has to be real. <laughs> I don't know if that's a... What the fuck's up with their setup, too? They just have a TV, a gray wall back, and three couches, and they're holding the sure ass on seven Bs. Bradley Martin, I thought you had money. Real deep. Unless you're transferring studios and redoing stuff. I don't keep up with you. I only watch all this dumb shit about fighting. But if you transfer studios, fair. If this is going to be like more of a permanent setup, fucking do something with it. <laughs> 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 I'll just well, say I, it. But I gotta ask you the question now because we're going into oh it. Oh my god! Because look, but also I want to talk. I want to yeah. before I ask the Here question. We go. Here we go. Hold on, before I ask the question. He's even shaking yeah. his head. Bro, Come before on, I Jacob. ask the question though, really important. I saw you weigh in. You were peeled. Like you look. 
not. Do you have to be 15, 20 pounds lighter? I'm really curious. What try, you try like 35. Yeah, okay. So Yeah, a lot of weight. I already know what Elder has to, like, you know, like I said, watch this. He says he walks around like a 150 or one, like 170. Cuts a lot of weight. But what do you actually fight at? Because when I see you weigh in, I'm like, this dude looks like competition ready, lean as fuck. And then I see you fight. You look fuller. Way, way different. Weight cutting. I think I read or heard something about how they used to like weight cut and fight him the same day, which is crazy. But it's like, uh, if you've never done like wrestling or any type of sports like that, you don't know. Or he, I think Bradley even talks about like even the bodybuilding. I'm like, you're so just drained from it. Yeah. For obviously, because yeah. we know how it works. But how much do you actually fluctuate? Uh, I, f I probably stepped in the cage about 156. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's fuck. I could have been heavier, but I was heavier, but I stopped eating because you don't want to be too bloated. And you go to the bathroom a couple times, piss, you know, number two, whatever, whatever. So you just try to stay hydrated, try not to be as dry because this way you get cotton mouth when you're in there because you're, you did the water load. So your kidneys are still excreting. Excreting yes. and then you still feel dry even though you're hydrated. It's the yeah. weirdest thing. No, I know because the bodybuilding shit, I've done it. Okay. So, yeah. yeah so you're familiar. It's, yeah. it's a very interesting feeling the whole thing but um that's that's pretty much about how how much i weigh so so fighting your 155 about 55 yeah now i it was like 170 yesterday morning oh now you're heavier <laughs> 175 <laughs> today i was 170 yeah so i'm trying to slim back down i'm trying to get to like a comfortable 65 because i'm on vacation i want to show my abs on the beach okay yeah you know, i don't want to be like too too pudgy all right so uh at 155 your fight weight <laughs> we, we, we run into each other in the street. <laughs> there we go. You yes, got your hair, yeah. your hair, your even braids aren't in. They're not green. Is, is what I was saying. Like even Aljo has to, like, this. <laughs> okay. You got even he has to just laugh at that. Yes, your hair, yeah. your hair, your braids aren't in. They're not green. Is, is what I was saying. Is my, hair crazy. is my hair green or black? Because there's it's, a difference. It's black. It's crazy. Oh, damn. It's I'm charged done. up. Oh, You're charged up? <laughs> <laughs> he's going to fuck it. <laughs> Who wins, man? Who wins? What are, we, are we boxing? No, we're just fucking fighting in the street. Damn. I got a couple of tactics, bro. Yeah. The thing, uh, I forgot his name. I watch his videos a lot now. There's actually two, two people I watch. Now for like a lot more fighting stuff. There's a main guy I watch. Uh, I'm, he's like a Russian sounding dude. I, sound, I don't want to sound racist. Uh, I forgot. His, I'll, I'll find it and I'll put a like link to it. But he even says it. It's like fighters don't have to be fair. It's a street fight, and if you're gonna play dirty, why not let the actual fighter play dirty too? It makes it even. And why the hell would a fighter even fight even if you're gonna do dirty ass stuff? to fight with them so i mean come on now what the heck so i hate when they like try to say like oh i have all these tactics on the street and you act like the actual fighter doesn't so i don't know i got a couple of strategical tactics what's exactly. what would be your move to beat me in a street fight besides try to knock me out obviously no nah, I, I wouldn't even try to knock you out because that's not my thing my thing would probably be let you swing let you miss especially a guy your size i would that dude's like honking his arms the way I guarantee it, the way he throws it. That like he cocks it back so wide unnecessarily. I know he does. I just know he does. Think that I would be a little bit more agile. Yes. Yeah. Hell yeah. Swing because more than likely you're probably thinking this little motherfucker. You'll probably swing something. You like I'm out there. Clean his clock. Thinking just throw a haymaker, yeah. I would I'll be your back like this. You I ever would kick you. You ever watch X Men? Yeah. I'll, I'll clip the video. Yes, yes, yes. You know Nightcrawler? Yes. You ever see him bamp? <laughs> That's how you think it's going to be? Just right on your back. No. Right on dude. your back. Strangling while you're just like, how did he get here? No. And then as you're waking up, you're like, <laughs> sleeping. Oh, no, bro. Yes. Yes, Bradley. You'll be putting a rear naked choke hold, a guillotine, or something like that. You're not just going to be able to slam him because uh, Funk Master is a black belt and he can actually hold his own. And yeah. Oh, I kick you. I wouldn't even try to punch you. <laughs> Shit kicks. Yeah. You seen Sean? You seen? I kicked him shin to shin. I ain't give a fuck. 
I was like, one of us yeah, is going to quit. Little shins. One of us. Just because you got bigger shins doesn't mean they're stronger. One of us is going to quit. Wait, you, wait. I love this guy. You, wait, do you kick on a regular? I kick. I'll, I'll kick the shit out of your leg, bro. But do you kick on a regular? You think I'm going to snap my shin in half? No, no. But do you kick on a regular? I kick regular enough, yeah. So basically saying you don't kick really that much at all, and you're just trying to avoid the question and not respond at all to it and try to dance around it until he really pressures you into talking and saying you don't kick at all. Like, a, like do you kick the pads? you kick the bag? <laughs> like, what are we talking about? It's a hard-ass bag on the bottom. And you kick it regular. I kick it. Yeah. Like regularly. To <laughs> I kick it. <laughs> doesn't say he doesn't kick it often or does he kick it often? Blah, 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 blah. Where like you could Three times a week. Three times. Talking about, okay, compared to Aljo, compared to all, like Sean O'Malley who kick on a daily basis on multiple different things like heavy bags to pads to sparring equipment with the pads kicking each other to, I mean, like look at Wonder Boy who's literally, it's a weird example, but the fighters don't do it like that anymore, but how they heat condition his shins. Have you guys ever seen that? That's just crazy. <laughs> yeah. Week, I crazy. Think, I think I destroy your legs. You think it's going to just shatter? No, doing? I don't think your legs will shatter. What I'm saying is, <coughs> you can go shin to shin, and I think, I think my conditioning of my legs will probably hold up. Hell yeah. Way better. Compared to yours. I'm just saying okay. because shit. of time, because I've just done this, I think these are a little bit more hardened, and that's what I'm saying. Even with Sean, the reason why I chose the tactical approach of just chopping down his legs is because I know he's more of a puncher. So I'm thinking in my head, let me kick the fuck out of his little ass legs, even though my legs are little too. But I know these things are dense, so I know I can do more damage. Where one of us is going to be like, all right, I don't want to play this game anymore. Yeah, off topic, I wanted to say this. I love how more Rob is just chilling there this whole entire clip. I didn't watch the full podcast. I'm not going to fucking watch the full podcast with Bradley. If I do, it's only because I'll join Rob on there. But I'm just saying I love how Marab is just chilling this whole entire time. Like, fucking shut up, Bradley. And one of us is going to have to make a decision. And I think he was going to make that decision first to come forward. And that's what is going to open up him for me to get my takedown. And you just had what to I want overextend, man. You were so excited. You want to put on a show. You had to overextend. Did you guys realize how close he was to that shot landing, though? It was just barely like I'll give him like this. He has some precise, precise strikes. Like and timing is ridiculous. And everybody's trying to compare it like Jose, Aldo, and Connor of the step back bam. I'm like, oh no, it's like Wonder Boy does it too. Oh no, it's like there's so many <laughs> I can't name Hell of Fighters. I just know Hell of Fighters do it. And I'm like, come on. I'm like, come on. I, I did. Yeah. And I think that's where <coughs> I, I got outside of myself, which I never do. Long story short, I'll just say this. Mali is not going to open the door. <laughs> and people like Bradley Martin will keep talking and getting attention and not actually fighting until I don't know when. Homie's not going to do it. So I don't know. But that's it for me, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, uh, if you guys like this content, if you want to do some more reaction, not break down stuff, but just... I just, I'll just put it this way, do my reaction to it. Like, I know reaction content is, like, toxic and not good. But if you do, like, um, X, not XQC. XQC is the definition of the bad one where he just left his stream going and basically played somebody else's content. If you want to see me do it, like, um, I forgot his name. I even follow him on Twitch. But he, like, pauses it, breaks it down, pauses it, breaks it down. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. If you guys want to um, go check out my gaming channel. It's in the comment, uh, the bio or comments or whatever. And then, yeah, check it out, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful night, evening, day, whenever it is. I'm recording this at 2.30 in the morning. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.